Hi, this is Shivarajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is we are growing apart and no longer really connect. So this is something that is going to happen to many couples around the world, especially if you have been married for an extended period of time. You just get comfortable with each other and eventually the romantic energy and the spark, the spark or the passion that used to be there in the early stages of your relationship kind of tends to dissolve. You enter into what we call comfort sinking. You are just you know, feeling good in each other's presence, but basically there is something that is missing. And what is missing is really the fire, the excitement, the conquering drive, something that you feel you have to fight for or, you know, to, to manifest in your relationship. So there are two options when this is happening. One of them means that the cycle of your relationship is coming to an end and it's easier to, you know, separate, break up, divorce, whatever, and go and follow up on your life somewhere else. Basically, when you become simply really good friends and there isn't really the excitement of the sexual connection and so on, it can simply mean that your relationship is coming to an end. So that's the first option. That's the one that you already know. My guess is that if you're watching this video, it is because you want to tap into another option, which is strengthening and connecting deeper with your partner, right? So. Let's look at uh, the possible options. The real thing that is happening right there when uh, you are, you know, kind of taking distance from each other is the fact that there isn't a fire that is engaging in the core of your relationship. So one of the things that you want to be able to access is really your mission together. Having kids, having a house, having all these practical things is really good, but you need to have targets or desires or wishes of things that you want to manifest. So simply being there in each other's presence in the comfortable space when you come back home might not be enough. You need to have a drive or something that is going to activate uh, a new fire or a new mission or a new desire or a new set of, you know, destiny within the core of your relationship. So what this means might mean traveling together, launching businesses together, uh, um, engaging into a deeper, profound connection in the way you connect sexually, for instance, engaging into tantric sex practices or intimacy practices. But you have to identify some things or some directions in your relationship that are going to open a new space or a new potential. Simply being there in that space and, you know, keep on going with the practical things and the comfortable things that you already know might be enough if you simply take time to invest time and energy into each other. So what that means is really connecting with each other, sitting down and being like, you know what, I feel like we are growing apart and I would love to be able to connect deeper with you. There is no pressure, there is no demand, it's not something that I'm freaking out about, but I just want, I just feel like there is a potential here that we are not expressing and I would love to find ways for us to dive deeper into the connection that we used to have. So this is really a conscious decision and it takes two people to really engage into it. If it's just you, you feel the need and your partner doesn't feel the need, just growing apart for him or her is comfortable, then that's not going to be good enough. You need to have two people who really want to invest time and invest time and energy into each other. So again, you know, the finding a mission or finding something in uh, your field that is going to attract a new flow of fire and energy and passion and excitement in your life, I think that's some th one of the, the core things that you could be checking uh, right now.